While we've gone out, we've nitty bung. I'm Engineer Hoist. Oops. <laughs> and uh, welcome to uh, impromptu uh, crystal cracking stream. I suppose it's actually a chip cracking stream because uh, the combat feature is now live. I uh, still need to make a video on that, but as part of my research, I need to crack a few crystals so I can see what kind of uh, duplicate shards we get and a few other things. Plus, I also want to get them from gameplay. Uh, so I figured, hey, I, I, I like sharing uh, this cracking with you guys live. I think you guys like watching it. And uh, uh, yeah, new hat. Somebody in the comments or chat the other day said, hey, you need to get a new hat. Plus the one that I've been wearing uh, needs to be washed. I was already rocking the uh, Megatron shirt. I figured I'd throw on the Megatron hat to go along with it. So uh, maybe wearing Decepticon garb will help uh, improve my uh, crystal cracking chances. So let's just go ahead and get right to it because we got a lot to get through. Uh, I did crack, uh, I've been cracking some of the uh, free crystals that, that have come out the last couple of days plus the uh, two star we got from there. So we'll show you what I've got so far. That's all I've got. Uh, I did get a duplicate Ravage. Uh, and uh, I think a duplicate Flak as well. So I've got the the Flak and Crater Maker guys, Night Stalker, Ravage, and Teraxodon. That's all I've got so far. And I uh, do have the three-star chip to crack. Plus, I also got uh, t uh, one each Autobot and Decepticon of the $40 bundle. So we've got a lot of crystals uh, to get through. So let's go ahead and crack the one from the event first. Yeah, it's a three-star Teraxodon, so that's pretty cool. I think it's kind of funny how he just slowly rises up from the bottom of the screen. It's actually kind of annoying in the uh, the story mode that that's how he does it. Uh, but um, still, it's, it's kind of funny, though. Uh, it just kind of... <laughs> okay, so if I didn't do any bundles, that's what I'd have right now, plus also one other premium. It turns out these chips here, they are named for each of the different bots, but like any of the character crystals, you can see a chance to get Blowpipe or another two-star or greater combat Decepticon. So the, so you got a greater chance of getting the named bot, but you can still get any of them in any of these crystals. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to at least get one of each at the two-star level. I'm hoping for three, a few, couple of three-stars, uh, maybe a couple of four-stars too. Uh, only one way to find out, and let's get cracking. So these are the blowpipes, and we're starting off with the duplicate crater maker. And you can see the two-stars give you two combat five-star combat chip shards, and since it takes 5,000 to get to, that's an awful lot of two-star dupes. <laughs> to, to get there so hopefully the three and the four star dupes actually drop a few more than that all right so here is starting off with the two star blowpipe and pterodactyl hat of course it was pterodactyl because there was nobody in the space bridge at first and he phased up through the floor just like pteraxodon so there's those guys oh look we're going to three stars and we get the three-star crater maker. Have I been using the codes? I have. And I am just shy of a new prime core. About uh, 700, I think, prime core shards. Even after collecting all of those. But that's fine. There'll be another event along shortly. Oh, see, when he's a duplicate, he doesn't phase through the floor. We got another crater maker. Sharks used to hoping that ne next uh, prime core is not uh, Nexus. Uh, Omer Bilgy, I think is your name. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Just cracking some uh, combat chips here. We're expecting a lot of duplicates. I mean, there was there's only what sixteen that you could possibly even get, and we've got 160 crystals to crack here. So. Most of them were going to be duplicates, even if I end up with the whole spread. Yeah, I was hoping to get all of them before Nexus 2, but uh, that didn't work out. I ended, did end up with Nexus, I think, on the last one. Pretty sure he's, I didn't put Nexus on any, any bot yet, and I'm probably not going to. Just 
continuing to get the two star dupes. I need at least a three star dupe so I can see what kind of duplicate drops I get. If not, I'll just reach out to you guys or or the community as a whole to see what kind of duplicates the three is and the four stars drop. If you know and you want to tell us in the chat, you know, by all means. Grand Galvatron 41k Shannon, so getting close to that uh, Beast Wars Megatron there. And this is the last of the blowpipes. Indeed, does give us a blowpipe. Duplicate. Okay, the next one's here is Pterodactyl. I do like the purple color on this particular uh, chip. Now, I, and I don't know if you guys uh, actually read through the stories. Uh, I, I thought it was funny how Flack and Crater Maker both they actually made motions with their arms and they had no elbows, just like the toy. The, the arm is just all one piece, and so they just kind of waved them around like it's all just one big piece. So I, I, I uh, applaud the uh, toy accuracy <laughs> in that uh, animation there. Continuing the dupe parade. Crater Maker again. The Bud Light virus joke Drillhorn made a death Saurus. Um, I. It, it, there's another three star coming. And it's a three star Pterodactyl from the Pterodactyl Crystal, so very cool. Uh, it, I must have. That joke must have gone over my head. Um. Three star sound wave hiss from a freebie? Very cool. G, G metal trithelium plating? Nice. But that's good to put on uh, uh, tanks. Like, uh, I put the trithelium plating like on Jumpstream, which would be Scrapper or Headstrong uh, for you cons. Because uh, they're right in there just kind of pounding away. And you know, now that I think about it, if you throw like uh, Taraxodon or Pterodactyl on them, that would give them a little extra damage to go along with the defense from the trithelium plating. Oh, yes, the uh, Death Source is panic buying. Okay, yes, I did see that, yes. that I thought that was funny. Got a silver G1 core on a four-star tantrum. Is it better to replace it with the G-metal trithelium plating? Well, it kind of depends. Uh, the G1 core on the tantrum gives him the permanent reflective shield in addition, and uh, something else. I think it's additional uh, reflective um, in addition. So if you take that off and replace it with the trithelium plating, he'll get more protection from cannons. Uh, but you lose the, ref the permanent reflective unless you have his ability active. Oh, we're going to lighten up again. Another three star. Oh, oh par apparently it was a duplicate. And I did hear this was a bug. It looks like you're getting new. You do get all of the duplicate uh, rewards. So the three star d drops 20. So that, that's good to know. Uh, you do also get, um, what, is, what is it? The, uh, the, the spark and the energon. It doesn't show it. Uh, but it's a known bug that, that it, it gives you not just the, the five-star shards that it gave there, but it does also still give the spark and the energon. So that was just a duplicate three-star. Not sure which one it was, but that's fine. It doesn't matter which duplicate it was. Okay, so 20 for... Let me write that down. 
So two stars gives you what? Two, three stars gives you 20. And maybe we'll see the four star here. Okay, so these are Crater Maker chips. Let me start off with Crater Maker. And a Ravage. Like we're lighting up again. This is a three star ravage. Nice. <laughs> Three star axes and a mystery bot. <laughs> oh, see, there's a three star duplicate pterodactyl. I'm actually going to snap a picture of that. Forgive me. I try not to do that during the streams, but uh, I kind of needed that one. And another three-star duplicate. Oh, we're lighting up. Uh, that was that was one of the duplicate glitches, so it's a duplicate ravage. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> so a three-star duplicate from a five-star shard standpoint is worth ten two-star dupes. <laughs> These crystals are sucking sharks, he says. Yeah, I'd like to see at least one four star. It would be nice. I've still got 26 Decepticon crystals to go, and I've still and I've got 80 for I still have all 80 of the Autobots to go. So there's another uh, three star duplicate. Keep piling on those five star shards, baby. Pterodactyl rising from the floor. Wish we could get the, oh yeah, like the avatars for these guys. Yeah, that would be pretty cool if you, if you happen to like those. Okay, and the last one are the Ravage chips. Honestly, I think Ravage looks really good. They did a good job on Ravage. Got all the Quintesson faces. I'm actually missing a couple of the Quintesson faces. I think it was one of the, one or two of the first ones when you had to get like, you know, a, a crazy amount of points when they were like near the end of the event. I just didn't finish. Because it wasn't important enough for me to do the get the avatars. Oh, we're lighting up. That's another fake out duplicate ravage. So that first one was probably ravage too, because uh, we got a couple of the other three star du duplicates that actually came through properly. So that first one was probably a, a ravage as well. Although I'm not sure if we had the three star ravage at that point. Ah, doesn't matter. Dupe, dupe is a dupe.
Coming down to the final eight. Hopefully we light up a four star for the cons here. Would be nice. Just wish if the uh, Ravage and Night Stalker was a bit bigger. It's hard to see them. Yes, it is actually r really hard to see them. Have you guys tried tried yet? Somebody actually asked on on the video in in a comment uh, the other day if you could deploy uh, multiple different star levels of the same combat bot on the battlefield at the same time, and you can. I actually tested it out uh, on the test account. I have all they gave us all of the bots to try out. I haven't done a whole lot with it yet, but I did put Night Stalker on, of all four levels of Night Stalker, each on a different bot on the same battlefield, and there were four Night Stalkers running around. Okay, I think that was the final Decepticon chip, so no four-star Decepticons. But, let's see, how, how, how did we end up making out? We did get all of the three-star versions, though, so that's cool. And, of course, we have all of the two-star versions. So no, no four-star Decepticons. Um, or wait, no, we did not get a three-star Blowpipe. We got Crater Maker, Ravage, and Pterodactyl. That Pteraxodon is an Autobot. All right. Back to cracking the Autobot crystals. If we get another mini cassette, Ratbat would probably be a, a good one for here because he is releasing in Siege and I think it's getting re released in Earthrise too. Okay, starting off, we've got Fire Drive crystals. And we start off getting Fire Drive. That's appropriate. We're lighting up three stars. Night Stalker. Almost said Ravage. Cool. I think Ravage and Night Stalker are actually very, very good bots because it, you know because it's basically just an extra bot on the battlefield. Lighting up again. All the way to four. Four star fire drive. All right. Cool. We get at least we got one four star out of this out of this, these bundles. Very cool. And lighten up again. Another four star. Back to back. Oh, and it's a duplicate fire drive. But this is actually good because I can see how many shards you get from a four star duplicate. 180. Okay. Quite a bit actually. So two star drops two shards. 3-star drops 20, a 4-star drop will drop 180. So, would have rather seen the 4-star be a, another 4-star new bot, but at least I got to see how many shards you get. <laughs> That's crazy, back to back. Oh, man. The same bot, even. Unbelievable. Never ceases to, to amaze me. <laughs> the way this thing works. Who's <laughs> down to raid Space Ape headquarters? Oh, man. If they don't bring the DJD. <laughs> I'd like to see the DJD in this game. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, that's a lot of bots. And uh, I think somebody was discussing that the other day. It's like, you talk about how you have Soundwave and Blaster turn into uh, boom boxes, and so they would never made them transform because what would that do on the battlefield? I mean, think of k who turns into a, an electric chair. I mean... What does that ability really do 
uh, how would that work out on the battlefield? I mean, I, I understand the context of the DJD, but in the context of this game, what would that really work? How would that really work out? And even Voss turns into a gun. So, I mean, sure, that could work, but is he a self-firing gun? Or how would, how would that work? Would he have to jump into somebody else's hands? You know, Shockwave is a gun. He doesn't transform. So, I mean, similar thing with Voss there. Uh, so. Deliver a shock blast in chair mode. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Like an EMP pulse or something like that. Okay, so that was all of the fire drive chips. We got back-to-back four-star fire drives, unbelievably. So now we've got Taraxodon chips here. Which, I, I do actually really enjoy the pun names for both of these axe birds. Pteraxodon and Pterodactyl. Although Pterodactyl is a little difficult to say sometimes. If Nickel were to come, would she be a healer? I, I think so. I think, I think Nickel would be a good healer. Lighten up again. Three stars. Slack. Alrighty. We had a little bit of a dry spell after those four stars. Yeah, they're, they're not too keen on bringing in additional healers. I wouldn't say it'll never happen, but they're, they're, they're really not uh, looking looking for doing something like that. I think if they were to bring in another other healers, they're probably they would probably have to put in some kind of a limitation on how many healers you could have on a on a uh, team at once cuz I seem to remember them saying something like they don't want to just have like say um, some strong bot like say Optimus Prime and then a team of healers uh, just walking behind him and basically being completely invincible because he's just constantly healing. And we're lighting up three stars again, and that's a duplicate flag. And again! It's a three-star fire drive! Okay, cool. We got the four-star earlier, but we hadn't got the three-star until just now. And there's a duplicate three-star Taraxodon. At least his duplicate is behaving. Four healers would be a mess. Oh, yeah, imagine if there was... Yeah, I mean, three healers is already tough. They, they, they already had to put special code in there so they wouldn't all heal themselves in a... In a, a so that they wouldn't heal each other. Because that was happening, is you'd have the two healers would be kind of away from the battle doing nothing but healing each other. So they already had to put code in there so that that wouldn't happen. I can't remember if you had three on a team if they would end up being like in a healing triangle or something. That would be funny, though, if they if you actually had that, like, the four bots all fighting and the, the healers are just down there, like, <laughs> healing each other. I think the way that they need to bring, to bring in more healing uh, would be similar to, like, what they did with uh, Springer and Astro Train, where it's in Sandstorm and, uh, what's, what's his, uh, Octone, where it's a healing ability. Where, it's where, it's where the, they don't heal as their normal basis. They still attack, but they can they have an ability that can heal. So I think that that's the way to add more healing into the game is by is through special abilities. Oh, forgot to see what this. Well, I was trying to see what this one was, but it I, it it took it. So that's a three star night soccer duplicate. These are flak chips. And that's why we got a three star night stalker. <laughs> There's a three star flak. So it's not any particular bots because we had the three star flak have the error earlier and that one behaved. So it's just kind of a random. 
Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It happens. Max limit should be healers. Can't defend if there are three. Yeah, it's there. There are times when I see a, a team when I watch the defense replay, I, I see it's like, oh, look at this team. They're they're not. It's not a very strong team. I should be I'll probably be able to win this defense, but turns out they had strong healing on there, and I got destroyed. What's up, C Taylor? Welcome to the stream. We're just cracking through uh, these uh, combat chips. Got yeah, most of the three stars by this point. I don't think I think we might be missing a couple of them. Uh, did manage to pull a four star fire drive, and uh, we got thirty crystals left to go for on the Autobot side. Tempted to getting a con combat bundle? Well, you, you've seen how it's been going for me, so uh, decide whether whether you like these odds, whether you think it's uh, worth uh, spending your hard-earned money to go and try to get some more. Uh, you, you would almost be certain to get more than, excuse me, just that two-star Ravage. Um, remember, if you play the game, uh, play the event this weekend, you get a chip. You get a chip to get a two-star. You get a chip to get a three guaranteed three-star. Plus, if you get all the way to ten thousand, you get a premium chip with a chance for a two, three, and a four-star. Plus, they do have a free chip at once every day, tw every twenty-four hours for both factions. So, which can drop either twos or threes. So, there you can get the you can get all the bots without. Uh, having to spend them spend the money if you don't want to so but uh, you're gonna get mostly duplicates because you know that's how this game is anybody who doesn't realize that that's how this game is <laughs> I'm telling you now but I think they have I think they have bundles for as low, low as five, five or ten dollars to get you a handful of chips might not might be worth uh, if, if you can afford it might be worth dropping it and seeing seeing what kind of luck you get um, even though it took me probably 90 crystals before I pulled a four star out of this your very next one could be a four star it, it, it can happen so those are the uh, chances And the uh, dupe parade continues. Ha haven't seen anything new in a while. McArt, welcome. Finally cut the stream live. Yeah, cool. Do we know you by any other name? Another three-star Taraxodon. Oh, we're lighting up. Is it another one of those duplicates? Yes, it is. <laughs> I did pull one four-star fire drive, and then and then immediately four-star fire drive afterwards. So I pulled two four stars. One of them was a duplicate. A carnage on YouTube. Okay, cool. Yeah, I see some people complaining sometimes, like, oh, I got a four-star duplicate, and I only have, like, four four-stars, or five four-stars, and, you know, you only need one to be able to get a duplicate, and earlier in the stream was proof of that. I only had the one, and then immediately got a duplicate of it. And there's another fake-out three-star duplicate fire drive. And a, and a three-star duplicate Night Stalker that behaves the way a duplicate is supposed to. <laughs> Project, welcome. How you doing, man? The pool the pool is not very big. No, there's a, there's only four for each each side uh, at two, three, four, and five-star level. But uh, you have to earn these combat chip shards to uh, unlock. The five star. Unlock a five star. Okay, three. 
Now we've got another fire drive not behaving. Yeah, fire drive's a real troublemaker, isn't he, Sharksy? Down to the last five. Got a Night Stalker. Uh, Taraxodon. Another Night Stalker. Sound, sound wave cute walking around with his Ravage. Oh, he walks around in the, your base with Ravage too? That's cool. And last one. Thought about it. Decided to give us a duplicate Night Stalker. Alright, so... Before we get out of here, I do have some crystal, uh, other crystals to crack, which I probably should have claimed before we got before we got going. Um, Sixteen of thirty-two collected. So here, so here's the haul of, of what we have. We got the four-star fire drive, and then we've got uh, three-star Taraxodon and Pterodactyl, Night Stalker and Ravage, Crater Maker and Flak, and fire drive. So we got three stars of everybody except Blowpipe. And two, and so we also got um, two stars of everybody missing just one of the three stars, and we only got the single four-star fire drive. So actually, not not too bad. I haven't even tried tried out fire drive yet. So this shoots shoots plasma, dealing three times more damage to walls and bursting regularly into flames, and the overall bot damage is increased by four percent. Sounds cool. Hmm. Flame crystals. So we've got uh, we got a five star, or I mean it's four star rather. And you can see how close I am to the prime core chip. It's oh, so close to a new prime core chip, but that's gonna have to be another time. We'll grab this three star crystal, and we'll grab some premium crystals. Think we'll be able to transform the combat bots on the team menu, like with regular characters later on? Hmm. Don't know. Anyway, notice a difference in damage in, in your bots with the new pets and weapons? Uh, well, each of them does something different. Um, the pets, like uh, Ravage and Night Stalker, it's just an additional bot on the battlefield. I don't believe it does anything to the uh, bot, to the other bot that it's equipped on. It's like so, like the three-star Ravage at level one starts off with 44-55 health and causes 96 damage per second, and regularly disappears from enemy sight. So he's just another bot on the battlefield with those stats. Doesn't do anything for your bot. Um, Whereas, like say, Crater Maker and uh, Flak both uh, shoots cha changes uh, the bot who holds it to uh, basically a gunner and shoots five rockets similar to Skyburst or Onslaught, each dealing 15% of the bot's DPS value. So there's that. I'm not entirely sure what that means because five times 15 is not quite. 100%, so does that mean they do less DPS, but just in a range? Not sure. Uh, Fire Drive, again, uh, does 75% of a bot's DPS, and uh, it does overall bot damage increase by 3%. And the the Axe, axe Birds uh, causes an earthquake dealing 50% of the bot's DPS value and also heals your bots. So, th does it affect their damage? Yes and no. In a way, but so they're they're all a little they're all a little different. Floating cat. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Macy's Day balloon of ravage. <laughs> uh. and, and it turns out uh, you cannot equip these to any bot that you want. Uh, Ravage and Night Stalker, since they're just kind of a companion, they can go with any bot in the game. So you could put Ravage or Night Stalker with a medic. Um, but that's all you could put with a medic, because uh, in the Taraxodon and Pterodactyl, the axes, they only go with bots who's, who generally are melee fighters. Uh, but not all of them. And then the, the guns, the fire drive blow pipe crater maker flak they go with any bots that tend to use guns gunners or flying bots things like that uh, but but for those you they could not use the axes so you can't change the attack style from short slash long to melee or vice versa so that so they are there are little they are a little specific now there's a, there's charts out there i've seen a number of places that shows the compatibility and uh, I'll try to cover that a little bit when I do make an overview video on this whole system. So. Uh, what am I trying to do? Okay, st stand by. We're, we're not done cracking combat bots yet. I want to do one more bundle. Okay, got another got another Autobot bundle. In addition to those other crystals that we got, that was that was kind of part partly planned to see see how uh, how how things went. If I wasn't a hundred percent satisfied with my results, I was already going to be purchasing an extra bundle. All right, so let, let's get these uh, normal crystals out of the way. Let's do the premium shards or premium crystals. So these are almost certainly duplicates. And then again, so are the. Uh, combat chips too. Where did I get my shirts and hats from? They, they were gifts. Uh, the, the shirts actually came from 80s tees. Um, most of them were gifts. And the hats, uh, I think they got them at Spencer's a bunch of years ago. I've had them for quite a few years, the hats. I'm not sure where to get them nowadays. Monkey Prime in the house. Four, whoa, look at that. Four star Monkey Prime. Wow, it's a Cybertronian charge. I'm not sure if I need that. And Rook. Good old... Look at that! Two duplicate four-star bots back-to-back. -back. Comrade Rook! Four stars. And a reflective coating. Yeah. Amazing. That's the second time. Two, two four-stars back-to-back. And there's a three star. That was a guaranteed to be a three star. And a four star crystal. Gives us a duplicate snarl. And what kind of core? A glass gas mine. I think that's my first mine core, to be honest with you. Uh, I'll have to think about where I want to put that. And lo lots of combiner spark there from uh, Rook and uh, Snarl, too. So, great. Yeah, so now let's get back to these combat chips and see if we get anything good. So, so we've got all... So we're only looking for four-star uh, on the Autobots. There's this, still a three-star Decepticon out there to get. Uh, but, but we've got all of the twos and threes on the Autobots. So we're still looking for four-star Autobot combat bots. Meanwhile, we're also collecting five-star uh, combat chips. I did hear there. There's I did see a couple of people with five star combat bots out on the social medias, and I saw that they said it took about four hundred and fifty dollars worth of bundles to get there, and I'm not spending that kind of money. Um, and I'm not. I'm not criticizing them for doing it. I'm just saying I don't have that in my budget. This is about my limit for the for this week. What if there was a G1 core that gave whoever wore it a lab coat? 
That would be funny. Um, yeah, because there was that there was that one uh, episode where there, I think all the Autobots they all wore lab coats because they were trying to pretend to be workers at a construction plant to try to fake out the Decepticons. Which, where did they get lab coats that fit those robots, those giant robots? And are the Decepticons that dumb to not realize that the workers are now five times the size of a normal human being? <laughs> Uh, some of the Decepticons, yeah, they probably are that dumb. <laughs> and let's not even get into, like, the, the Pretenders, where you had the, uh, the full-size Transformers, uh, hiding in a shell that looks like a human being. Yes, I'm just a normal 50-foot-tall human being in this uh, spacesuit. Yeah, that, that's our normal size. Yes. Holograms. <laughs> yeah, it was like in the very first few episodes of Transformers. Yep. Maybe they were maybe they were still a little groggy from the uh, four million year stasis nap that they, they, they were stuck in. Okay, so even though these chips are named that they're for for specific bots, I, um, I'm not really seeing any pattern to it because a lot of the time the bots that we ended up pulling weren't on their name chip. They were so... Didn't they trap Ravage? Yes, they did trap Ravage and locked him up at some point. And, um... Yes, th that's that's right. Uh, it, it may have been that episode, but but I know, I know they were planting information in Ravage. They, they were talking about it with him in earshot, pretending like he's not supposed to know, then he dropped the key that Ravage was able to get and escape. But that was all part of their plan for Ravage to take away that to take that information back to lure the Decepticons in. I don't remember the exact episode, but I remember that's kind of how it went. In fact, there's third-party accessories out there at some, uh, uh, where you can get, like, uh, a cage for Ravage. Even Masterpiece Hound had one of the one of the many accessories and features he has. He's got a little clip on his waist that you can flip out. He's got a little key that you can put on there to homage that episode where he's got the key on his uh, waist. Where he actually goes to put it on the waist and, oops, I dropped the key. Kind of a thing, so... And even ways back, uh, before it was even officially Generations, I think it was like Universe, they released a Hound, um, and it came with a Ravage as part of that set. Uh, I don't know if it was if it was intending to or specifically mentioned that it was referencing that, but clearly it was. So Hound and Ravage have kind of a connection. Combat bundles are a 1% for a 4 star instead of regular bots? Hmm. I didn't even check that. Yeah, so so these are base they're base these are basically premium combat chips. They're, so they're not really care even though they're named, they're not really character specific. Uh, so these these are really just like they they have the names on there, but they're really just basically um, pre premium chips that drop these bots. Remember when you can gift people crystals? Yes, very briefly. And then, and then the rules started coming down about uh, loot crates and stuff like that, and so that, that was disallowed. Upgrade kit for Siege uh, Optimus Prime? I have, no, I have not seen an upgrade kit for that. I mean, outside of the Toy Hacks labels, I haven't. 
Siege, Ravage, and Laser Beak 2 pack is $20. Um, yeah. I had to think about that for a second. It was it really Ravage and Laser Beak? It is. Because I was thinking for some reason, like, Ravage was with uh, Rumble. But no, that was uh, the Masterpiece set. Hey, look, Fire Drive actually behaved this time with his three star duplicate. Yeah, the la laser beak is really good. Uh, Ravage is okay. I'm holding his head. But uh, Ravage is okay. Uh, la laser beak is really good. 20 is a little much, but uh, it, it, it is uh, not in production at normal retail anymore. They normally went for like 10 bucks, so 20 is like twice as much. But I don't know if there's any better prices out there. Might be worth looking. But if 20 is the best you can find and you want them, it's not outrageous, I'd say. Blowpipe on dead end so far is very good, says Oktar, aka Starscream. We're lighting up. How far? Four stars. Is this a new one? Or is it a fake out? It's a four star Taraxodon! Okay, so this bundle did actually work out rather well. I was getting a little worried that I just wasted $40 on some five star shards, but we've got a second four star combat bot on the Autobot side. Alright. Now I just need to figure out oh, we're not doing that. So I gotta. I knew that was going to. I knew she was going to call. But um, now I just gotta figure out. <laughs> Uh, which box to put them on? Uh, Fiction uh, got 60 bucks worth of crystals and pulled all four combat bots. <sighs> Out of 60 bucks, did you get them all four stars? Or did you get... Uh, what kind of star level did you get there, Fiction? I mean, regardless, congrats. Because uh, it, it is... Uh, it's uh, good to have them because, I mean, whether it's two star, three star, four star, whatever, it's, um, it still, it still improves, uh, whatever bot that you put them on. You got all, you got all four out of 60 bucks. That's, that's some good luck, man. All four four stars. That that that's that's some amazing luck. Congrats to you. It it happens, man. Some people some sometimes you just get good luck, and you know some some people are going to spend three hundred dollars and not get any. So it's just it's it's all luck. Obviously, the the more that you open. Uh, the more likely you are to get lucky, but it's still it's still just luck. The scavenger becomes a gunner and still does the jump back. Okay, well that's cool to know that they uh, still do that because that's kind of key to their uh, um, their key to their defense, I guess. Key key to their character. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'd put these these bots on, like, say, Bumblebee, Scrapnel, or... Doesn't Scavenger and Rustus have the same thing where it's like a EMP stun? Uh, that can be pretty useful if, if they're, when they're actually attacking a, a defense that actually stuns it. So that can be pretty useful. I'm not sure if I would put that on them, but, I mean, uh, let us know how that works out. Thought about it, but gives us a fire drive. And down to the last 20 crystals. These are fire drive chips. Not that it really matters. And there's another four star duplicate fire drive. Unbelievable. I'm going to take another screenshot of this. Again, sorry, I don't usually do this during the streams, but uh, 
That first one didn't give me the whole uh, list of duplicates. So, 2500 combat spark too, that's pretty nice. So that's three four-star fire drives that, that we pulled out of these two bundles. So we've got the first one, obviously, and then two separate duplicates. If only that would have been Flak and Nightstalker, then I would have had the whole spread just like Fiction over there. Tracks with Flak is pretty great. Yeah, he's got that special ability where it's supposed to, like, cloud the defense or whatever, but I've never really seen that, that being uh, too particularly um, useful. Saw Fire Drive on Cup, Sandstorm, Track, Silverbolt, Springer, Swoop, Tiger Hawk is good options. Yeah, I still need to test these out. I didn't do a whole lot of testing on them. One thing I did do, I was curious about like the the Axe bots, Teraxodon I tested on. Because there was the question, like, you have some bots that have basically a beast mode as their preferred mode, like Skylinks and Grimlock, Sludge, Snarl, stuff like that. How does that work? Well, I actually tested it out, and it turns out you can equip it to them. Um, um, maybe not all of them, but I put it on Skylinks. There's, it's not animated. You don't see it, but you don't. It's like he's not holding the axe in his mouth or anything like that. But the ability works. If you zoom in, you can actually see Skylinks attacking the base, and then all of the uh, the ground, uh, the earthquake debris, uh, fly up as if it was uh, being smashed with the axe. So, so the ability works. It's just not animated during the battle. So that's that's how they managed to work it with the uh, the preferred beast mode bots. Tracks usually wanders, getting giving him flak, let gets him to hang back with your gunners. That's a good point. More three star duplicates, giving me the extra little five star shards, five star chips. Rolling out, got 2,100 points, started a bit late. There's still plenty of time this weekend to catch up. I would say you definitely want to get to that, um, get to the 10,000 to get that chip, but really it's a premium chip, so you have a chance at a 2, or 3, or a 4 star. If it was like a guaranteed 4 star, I'd say everybody needs to battle to get to 10,000, but it's not, it's just a premium chip. Really, once you get to, I don't even remember how many points, where you get the three star, that gets you a guaranteed three star. Get there, and if you need to stop after that, then then go ahead. But uh, you do get the chance to, to get a uh, four star if you manage to get to the um, 10,000. Plus, also, the farther you get, the more of this combat spark you get, when that's what you need to level these bots. They're not leveled any other way except through these combat spark. So, and that was the last crystal. So it says we've got more. I think these are just t telling me that I've got uh, G metal chips I can claim, which I'm not because I'm waiting for the prime core. And so that is going to do it. That's all. That's all I'm cracking today. But we did manage to pull an extra four star Taraxodon out of that bundle. Plus also um, got 146,000 <laughs> co combat sparks, so I can level these guys uh, uh, a fair amount. <laughs> uh, that that's not all from the duplicates. That's also from the event because I, I've I don't even remember how far I got in the event. Uh, I'm about about six thousand, so I'm, I'm a little little beyond halfway. And uh, what else was I gonna look at? Something. So so we've got. All, I was here. I was thinking. Oh yeah, the chips. How far did we get on the chips? So 1,250 uh, chips out of 5,000 to get to the a five-star combat chip. So 
there you go. That was about $120 US worth of cracking combat chips and uh, so about 10 chips per per dollar I guess is about what it worked out to be <laughs> so so at, at that point so at that rate to about at roughly 10 chips per dollar though that's 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 just an average or whatever but that would so what, what those people were saying that I saw in, out there I think it was on Facebook they said they spend about four hundred fifty dollars. At about ten chips per dollar, that would put you at about five hundred dollars. So, if you want to know what it takes to get a five star combat bot, that's about what it's going to take. So, uh, and with that, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, close down the stream because um, I got other things to do. I'm going to go uh, level these guys up. I'm going to t uh, get, get a little bit more experience with them so I can put together a video on uh, an overview maybe some tips if i get if i get some um but at, at the very least it'll be uh a reference for anybody new you guys watching now already know how, how it's working because you're 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 playing it uh but definitely I, I like to have a little resource out there for for everybody plus i've got to, to finish uh, keep playing into the event or whatever so i do appreciate everybody stopping by even though it just kind of just popped up in your notifications and it wasn't one of the planned ones uh still thank you again for everybody uh i do appreciate uh the the support and seeing you guys uh whenever we're here and um hanging out and um i'm that's gonna do it i'm engineer always keep rolling my friends we'll see you next time <laughs>